Nazi sympathizer. He's got this coin from a magic buddy of mine. He's got Edward VIII on it. He was Edward VIII for less than a year. He actually was a, he was a Nazi sympathizer after he abandoned the crown for the love of his life. Wallace Simpson, he turned into a, uh, well, a pacifist. Anyway, I digress. But you can't do much with one coin, especially if your sleight of hand stuff isn't real good. So I found that if I use two coins, one that's a different um, metal, I get some of the most basic effects possible with coin magic. Okay? So this is an old, very old, I might add, American silver dollar. And then we have our Nazi sympathizer coin. The neat thing about this is because they're different colors, I start off with a silver coin with my silver colored ring. So you can keep track of what's where. See, I keep this, well, maybe it's not all that clear. Tell you what, what I'll do is I'll start with the copper coin here, and then what I'll do is I'll cause them to change, and then the silver coin will actually be where it's supposed to be. So let's try that again. Little magic gesture. Yeah, that trick just makes me happy. Um, if we take the Nazi sympathizer, though, what else are you going to call him? The guy uh, encouraged Hitler to bomb his own people. Bad guy. So we take, and and ask, we'll call him. What happens is, once again, they change places. Matter of fact, I'm so disgusted with this guy, I'm going to uh, make him go away. I don't like him. The trouble is, like like all Nazis, he comes back when you don't want him. Yeah, the trick is base with two coins. And, you know, I think the only way to make make our, what's, what's the term I'm looking for? Our bad guy. Yeah, Nazi sympathizer. Make him go. I think I'm going to have to take the silver coin and make him also clank. No, no, no coin. The clank's not real. We'll just make them both go away. Then the trick will be over, and you won't have to worry about Nazis anymore.